rope rescue because it, it's hard to vary the friction once it's under, under load. There's two different ways to load it. You find most Canadians and Europeans will go up through the bottom and most Americans will go up through, down through the top. I don't really care which way you do, both are going to provide you with friction. So put the eight in your right, uh, left hand, uh, this in your right hand, come up through the bottom, make a bite of rope, put it over the bottom stem, and then clip it in. Squeeze the carabiner and make sure it's locked, screw down, preload it, just take some rope up. Now, I'm going to start like this before I lean back. Just take a bite of rope. Now, this left hand, you can put it up here or you can put it at your side. Don't hold it anywhere in the device because this device is notorious for wanting to take clothing, hair, gloves, anything that's loose and suck it into it. So keep this hand out of here. If you need balance, you can put it above. If your hands are cold, you can put both hands down here. I want to unlock the device, take it off the horn. Now, to repel, your feet are wide apart, hand on hip. If you need extra friction, you can put it further behind your hip. All right. You want to keep going, bring your hand up, more friction, bring it down. This doesn't have an auto lock or an auto stop, so the more or less friction is depending on you. If you let go, it will continue to go. Remember, when we repel on the, on the live zone, we're going to still have our belay. We have the belay to the MPD, a second rope safety system on it. Now, if you want to stop, there's two ways of tying this off. There's the, the dynamic and the passive way. <clears throat> the dynamic way is a little better if your feet aren't touching the wall. Right? If your feet aren't touching the wall, go into brake mode. So where the rope is actually making contact with the other piece of rope down here, come across the stem in front, over the opposite horn, and pull down nice and hard and hammer it in. All right, now repeat that. Hammer it in. And when you lock off, take a draw of rope and put it up through the hole here and do your two half hitches again. <clears throat> and again, if you're worried about the personnel you're rescuing or working with, you can clip it off into your ring, you can clip it off here, but if you're just doing work on your own, you're fine like that. All right? Now you want to come off and continue the rappel. Under your half hitch, keep your live end under control, pull some rope through. Now there's two bites on the left horn. The first one is easy to come off, the second one's going to count. I like to keep two hands on here, come over, catch the horn, give it a really good dynamic tug, and then slide your hands up. Okay? The other way, the more, more dynamic way of tying this off, I personally think requires your feet to be on something solid. If you're free hanging, you've got to be awfully quick and awfully strong because you're, you're going to end up holding your own body weight if you're free hanging. What it requires you to do is go out of break mode. So if your feet aren't touching anything, look what happens. Your hand's going to come into here. Right? So, But I want to dissipate some of my weight now on the wall. And if it's less than vertical, you'll have a chance with this. So if my feet are on the wall and I want to do this very dynamic tie-off, I'm just going to bring the rope over here, catch the horn, and pull it down. Right? See how deep the rope goes in? It's a nice deep tie-off, but you're, you're counterintuitively, you're taking the rope out of brake mode. So it's important to have your feet on something. Do it twice, and the finishing tie-off is exactly the same. Okay, follow the direction where it's going. Bring some... Watch you guys don't trip yourselves with the little ones in the rope, okay? Take care. Pull the rope up through here, and a couple of half inches. Okay, ready to repel on white? Yeah, I'm a little numb here. I'm good though.
White's on the ground, White. White's on ground.